What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to LEGO Minifigure of the Day. Today we'll be taking a look at Bilbo Baggins with Dark Red Coat. This guy came out in four sets from 2012 to 2013 as part of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit line. Uh, I don't know which one specifically for this guy. Um, I've never seen any of the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit movies. Um, I think this is actually the first time we've looked at a minifigure from it on this show, which is pretty crazy. Uh, some of the themes we've looked at, we've never looked at this one, but uh, that's probably because this is the only minifigure I own from it. Uh, this is a decent minifigure, actually. Like I said, I've never seen the movie, but I did look up some pictures uh, of this character before, and they did a really good job with this minifigure. Um, the hair looks pretty good. Um, this is actually one of those cases where I think having like some molded on ears in the hair would kind of be cool. Uh, the face prints, okay. It looks kind of generic, but it also looks like a guy who's pretty tired from going on a journey. Um, the torso piece is definitely the most accurate part of this. Um, it looks like it's, you know, put on a Lego and pulled straight out of the movie. Um, it actually has back printing, which I think is pretty cool. You can see he's got like the coattails there. Um, you can kind of see the shirt that he's wearing under it. Um, but the front looks really good. He's got his tie. You can see the front of the coat. And overall, it's actually a really good print. I feel like it's, you know, it's pretty specific to Lord of the Rings, but it's also something that if you just threw it on a normal minifigure, I wouldn't bat an eye, which I always appreciate that. Um, and then the legs, it's obviously short legs, so you know, that's fine. You can't really do too much detail with those. Um, but overall, this is actually a pretty decent minifigure. I really wish this was the blue coat one. Uh, I'll never have that one, so I'll just tell you all about it. There was a uh, DVD release of, I don't know if it was a Lego Hobbit movie or the actual Hobbit movie, but um, it came with a one of these guys with a blue coat on instead of a red coat. And for some reason, it had an extremely limited release and it's like $200 now. Um, so yeah, there's just a little bit of trivia for you. But uh, this guy's average use price is about $7. So definitely a lot cheaper. Um, and to me, I mean, he's pretty easily a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I think that they could have done a little bit more with the hair. Uh, like, I think everything about it looks good except for that. And I'm just not a fan of short legs. <laughs> I know that sounds so prejudiced, but I don't know. They're just, they're not my cup of tea. And... Uh, I really shouldn't fault the minifigure for that, but oh well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Represent.